Theater here in Nashville, Tennessee, the site for what we hope will be a great game. Thanks for joining us. These two teams are ready to go, and it should be a great one as the Oilers get set to take on the Titans. Welcome to the game. Al Michaels and John Madden here broadcasting live. So pull up a chair and relax because this is going to be a good one. You talk about a quarterback who can lead his team to victory. This guy has all the tools you look for. Great arm, pocket presence, and the ability to hit a receiver anywhere on the field. There's not too many like this guy, and we can see him put up big numbers in this one. The Oilers have a few receivers that he likes to throw to, and here's one of them. There's no question these two have developed that chemistry, and he's always finding an open spot on the defense to give his quarterback a target to hit. It wouldn't be surprising to see them hook up a few times in this one. Look at him down there. Offense, defense, it doesn't matter. They just want to start hitting somebody. Yeah, they're already hitting each other. Let's go to midfield for the coin toss. The teams have taken the field. We're ready for the kickoff. Let's go to the field. Here's the kickoff team. And he got all of that one. A great kick. He decides not to return this one. Let's see if they can turn this first drive into points. They're looking for the run with all those linebackers out there. Bishop provided some excellent run support on that one. And the thing is, when you've got a safety making a play in the backfield on plays like that, you got to take advantage with a play pass to catch that guy out of position. Tennessee comes out in a 46. Penalty marker down on the field. Dead ball. Let's start on the offense. Harris moved a little early there. Yeah, the rule for the offensive line is once you put your hand down, you can't move until the ball snaps. A lot of fans have looked forward to this game all week, John, with two of the best quarterbacks in the league. I had a chance to talk to both of these guys before the game, and it's funny. They both use the word respect. They have a lot of respect for each other, and really they both said they enjoy the games more when you have to measure yourself against another great quarterback. So it's a first down with great field position after the interception. Dropping back, closing in, throws the end zone. Touchdown, Titans. Now this is what a receiver with great concentration can do for you. He makes a catch and he knows he's going to get nailed. And he does a heck of a job of holding on to it and bringing it down. You better kick it here. Del Greco comes in for the extra point. And it's up. The point after is good. Well, John, the short drive, covered the distance, found the end zone, six points. Whether it's your special teams or defense that sets you up with great field position, your job as an offense is to take advantage of it. And they did it right there. He gets the kick away. There's a flag on the play. Not a good kick, and it'll cost them. Kicking the ball out of bounds like that gives the offense instant field position. When the kicker allows that to happen, it always confuses me. Tucks it away. One yard gain by the running back. This is what I would call in this situation. Tennessee comes out with eight guys in the box. Pressure, throws it. Incomplete pass. The incomplete pass brings up third down. And they'll face a long third down here. Ball on their own 41. Tennessee comes out in the quarter defense. Under pressure with the pass. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here. But this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. Man in motion. Hit him low. Bulldog under. 
him with a carry. And he's brought down at the 42. White couldn't find any room on that one. They really hustle on the defensive side of the ball. They're very good at clogging up the line, limiting the number of holes and cutback lanes that the back has to choose from. Moon out of the gun. Ball on the 42-yard line. Back off, KP! And he slides down to avoid the hit. The Titans come out with eight guys in the box. And this is the sixth play of this drive. Cross play to the right. Little question, they were waiting for the run on that play, John. When the defense is sitting there with eight guys in the box, you know that they're looking for the run. You just kind of get behind your blockers up front and hope that one of your guys can create a seam for you to run through. Del Greco comes out, hoping to put points on the scoreboard for the first time. And it's on its way. Splits the uprights, and good. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Boomin kick downfield. Looking for leverage. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 41. McNair gets set. He'll pass on first down. He surveys the field, launches this one to the right. He has it. He was there to make the catch for the first down. He's glad he made that catch. I'm sure the quarterback will look his way again when he needs another first down. They line up in the eye formation. Set. Snake us. Hit him low. Got yeah. Changing the play yeah. now. Harris, the man in motion. Catch the ball, man. Huh. George. Breaks free of the defender. Breaks the tackle. He's inside the tent. Touchdown, Titans. That guy picked up a lot of yardage on that run. Yeah, he moved this way and that way all the while, keeping his head up and watching where his teammates were creating room for him to run. You better kick it here. Del Greco comes in to attempt the point after. The kick is up, and he picks on the extra point. And a great finish to that drive as they got into the end zone, and the defense is going to have its hands full trying to keep them in check. They're moving the ball out there pretty easily. Every time I see these guys play, I'm very impressed by the players they have, especially on offense. But the thing that impresses me most is the coaching staff. They're always very well prepared. They do a good job of calling plays, and the plays that are designed to take advantage of the other team's weaknesses. A mistake by the kicker on that one. Special teams play like that doesn't seem so special. White, the lone back. Ball on the 40-yard line. Good ball. Let's start on the offense. That won't help them. I don't think that was part of the game plan. So now it's first and 15 after the penalty. Tennessee with six defensive backs. All on the 35-yard line. Looking for an option. He surveys the field. Throws it. Harris did a nice job pulling in that pass. Some of these guys have natural abilities that you just can't teach. Off to the back, he runs him over. Decent game, about four. They need six. Ball on their own 44. The defense lines up in the nickel. Givens in motion. Let's go, come on. 
Crosses it out to the right. Watch here as he's able to avoid the blocker and get in there and make the tackle. That's how you're supposed to do it. Don't stop. Keep going until you reach the ball carrier. Mason back to return. Here's the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. That's a good job of getting downfield by the cover team to force the fair catch. They'll go from the I formation. Set. Using motion. They give it to the halfback. He's on the run. To the 20. George with a nice run. He picks up the first down. It was well executed. They hit their blocks in the back found the right hole to get down the field and pick up the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Is that all you got? Three, Changing the play now. Man in motion. He tucks it away. Nine-yard game. Second and about one. Ball on their own 32. He sees something in the defense. Neal in motion. Toss play to the left. He made it past the first down marker. Good run to the outside. Yeah, and what they had was a good block by the tackle to seal the end so that he could get around the corner. Well executed play. They'll go from the I formation. McNair sends a man in motion. Pressure coming. Throws out to the left. Then incomplete pass brings up second down. Why don't you show the defense what a finely tuned machine you are? Set. Dice moves in motion. Closing in. Throwing. The defense, I think, gave him too big of a cushion on that play. If you're going to sit back there in the zone, there are bound to be some holes in the pass curve. Good quarterbacks will take advantage of that, using short passes underneath to move the ball. McNair sees something in the defense. Neal comes in motion. Makes the toss to the left. He just gets this one past the sticks. Tell your line to protect here. Tell your line to protect every play, not just here. You need to get some time back there and let someone get open. Set. McNair sets up. Get the ball. The Titans oh, oh. using motion. They'll pass on first down. Pressure with the pass. Incomplete. He just overthrew that one. It almost looked like he might have been trying to throw it to someone else. Set. Out of the shotgun. Set. Under pressure. Looking downfield with the throw. Here's an open. And he's brought down at the 34. Look at that defense over there. You own these guys if you can just execute. Whitechap has been good on the ground, and it's his ability to break tackles that's helped him to this total. Ninth play of this drive. Get in there, Lon. To the air on first down. Scrambling around. He surveys the field. He passed looking for the end zone. Incomplete pass. So it's first and goal. McNair gets set, calling an audible now. The Titans using motion. Drops back, pressure coming, rolls right. 
They really put themselves in the hole with that shot. Yeah, I'll tell you, there isn't anything you can say to the coach to make them understand how you lose that much yard. That is inexcusable. Get the ball to the open man. You can't give him an easy pick. Dropping back, closing in. He's looking for the end zone. This one falls incomplete. Ooh, a big drop by the receiver. This is not the area to be dropping passes. To be a great receiver in this league, you have to catch the ball if the quarterback gets it to you in the end zone. The Titans using motion. Pressure surveying the field. Fires to the end zone. Good play by the safety to tip it away in the end zone. This guy has great instincts. When he came into the league, they tried him at the cornerback spot. He hit so hard that they thought maybe he'd be a better fit at safety. Doug Greco is heading onto the field for this field goal attempt. And it's up. And so that kick is good. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. He got all of that one. He got all of it. That was some catch. And all he could do is watch it sail over his head. It's first and ten. They'll go from the I formation. First and ten. Oh, give it to the halfback. He has some room. When you're talking about taking your man out of the play, this is what you're talking about. You know, this is the kind of block that guys dream about. I mean, he just unloads on that guy. Tennessee has jumped out to an early lead as the first quarter comes to a close with the score 17 3. Teams have switched sides and will start the second quarter. First and 10. Tennessee lines up in the 46. We get the call again. Only a yard by the halfback. Tennessee comes out with seven in the secondary. Is it off? Gain of about one. Third and long. Ball on their own 37. Dropping back. Rowan. Incomplete pass. Not much touch on that pass. May have tried to put a little too much oomph on that throw. Montgomery is looking for a good punt here. Here's the kick. From the 14. Can't bring him down. Breaks free. He had some room but couldn't get that one block to let him go the distance. One or two more blocks would have sprung him. McNair sets up. Looks for a seam in the middle, but there's nothing there. The defense had great penetration. They were right there to cover their gap assignments. George comes in motion. Under pressure, looking for a receiver, looking for the deep pass down the right side. Whitechuck catches a floater for the first down. And it's a good thing he caught it. You don't want to drop those passes that are sure first down. McNair gets set. Man in motion. Pass right here on first down. Pressure coming. Trying to buy some time. Rowing. The pass ball is incomplete. He had too much on that pass, John, as it sailed over everybody. It looks a little jumpy back there. One thing you never want to do is look at the rush. You want to keep your eyes downfield. If you start looking at the rush, then you can never be effective. Neil, the motion man. Another run. Not much there. Maybe a yard. This is a time to look down the field. Look for your guy to find a hole in the defense and get him the ball. Get 
That's it. Come on, Theo. McNair sends a man in motion. Close again. He loses it. The Oilers roll on. He tried to do too much and ends up turning it over. So it's first and ten following the punt. White the lone back. White the over. Second and ten. Ball on their own 40. Tennessee looking for pass. Only three down and seven DBs on the field. Kept it on the ground. Picks up about seven. So as they get set to try to convert, here's what both teams have done on third down. Third down conversions is a keeper stat. When you convert on third down, you keep three things. You keep your drive going, you keep their defense on the field, and you keep your defense resting on the sideline. So on the blitz, they can't get to the ball carrier until it's too late. And when you're blitzing to stop the run, the idea is bringing more guys and the offense can block. We also got to cut off the lanes and gaps that he can use to escape out of the backfield. That just didn't happen here. Give it all you got. Going to the air on first down. And he'll get the goal. Keep bringing it down. Bishop makes the tackle at the 34. Here's a good defense for this situation. Second and one. Ball on the 34-yard line. Stay guys. Hands it off to the back. So they pick up enough to convert for the first down. Now smart coach would call this defense. Play to the left. Picked up four, maybe five on that play. Boom. This defense will stop him for sure. White. Four, maybe five yards on that carry. Try to come through with the field goal here. And it's on its way. The try is good. He sends it right through the upright, his second field goal of the game. Here's the kickoff team. And he got all of that one. A great kick. The Titans will start this drive from the 15. You got to be aware of everything going on out there. If you see a weakness, you got to attack it. George, the lone back. Pass play here on first down. Looking downfield, rolling right. Gets the pass off. The 30. Amazing play by Whitechapel. The thing is, he got some separation there, and he was able to get him a big chunk of yards. The fourth. Great play there by Dyson. You're talking about making it look easy out there. He caught that and he made it look very easy. Set. Catch the ball, man. Run, run. Yo, Looks like he's changing the play. Neil in motion. Three, maybe four yards on the misdirection play. Keep the defense guessing. Don't forget to use misdirection and play action to keep them off balance on passing down. The Titans line up in the shotgun. Ball on the 28-yard line. Sideline to sideline. 
Here they come. He hits his receiver. Here's the thing. You have to realize that in this league, if you're going to make a catch, somebody's going to be there and try and knock it out of you. This time, he does a great job of absorbing the hit and still making the catch. Picks up just enough for the first. A wide receiver screen might be a good option here. Look to get the ball out of there quick and leave it up to him to create some yardage. Houston comes out in their nickel package. Pressure surveying the field. Flings it to the outside. The blocking broke down on that play, allowing the defender to get to the quarterback as he was releasing the ball. He had no choice but to get rid of the ball. This defense has to be ready for run. Because they're in a spot where the offense can call just about anything with this much time left. The quarterback really let loose with that throw. That pass was really gunned in there. The receiver did a nice job of just hanging on to it. It'll be a big play if the defense can hold him here. They need to be careful not to be out of position or they'll end up giving them a first down. The Titans line up in the shotgun. Stay up, you. Fire out. Take them out. Bring that pain, baby. Steps up into the pocket. He surveys the field with the pass. That one hit him in the hands, but he just couldn't hang on. Pretty good play call on that one. Everything happened just as it's drawn up. Just couldn't hang on to it. Del Greco will come in looking to try the field goal. The kick is up. The attempt is good. That kick is good, and it's his second field goal of the game. The kickoff team lines up. Booming kick downfield. He downs it in the end zone. He took a knee in the end zone, and they'll start the drive at the 20. The Oilers line up in a five-receiver set this time. Giving some cushion on the outside. Houston calls a timeout. They have two left. First and ten. Ball on their own 31. The corners playing back. Set. Get all you got. Hit him low. Hit him low. Dropping back to pass on the first down. Throws it. Very lucky that was an interception. I bet you as soon as he let that go, he was wishing that he could have it back. Because that could easily have been an interception. There's only one way that they're going to be able to do something about this score. Keep throwing and getting out of bounds. Stiff arm. Houston will call a timeout here. They have one remaining. They need five. Ball on their own 36. Let's go. Come on. The quarterback is back in the shotgun. Dropping back with the throw. He finds his man. Number 50. The coach is having them hurry it up. Houston calls a timeout. They have none left. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. The corners are giving a bit of a cushion. Dropping back to pass on first down. Gets the pass off. Nice adjustment. That's three times on this drive they've been able to pick up a first down. Yeah, and the thing is, they'll be doing more than just picking up first downs if this success continues. They're going to be picking up some points. And so the kicker ready to come out onto the field and try to put one through the uprights before halftime. About a 51-yard attempt here. And it's up. The kick sails through the uprights. And he bangs it through again. His third successful field goal attempt. Good distance. Oh. 
Tennessee already leading in this one. Sends their offensive unit back onto the field. First and ten. The Oilers come out in a nickel package. It's the end of the second quarter with the score. Tennessee, 20. Houston, 9. And we go back to the game. So with halftime now over, let's take a look at how both teams performed in the first half. He got all of that one. He got all of it. Great kick, John. He's proven he can get the job done on kickoff. Wow, he got a lot of leg into that kick. They should have put the field goal net up for that one. Green, Changing the play yeah. now. Yellow, 25. Take him out. Using motion. George didn't have much to work with on that running play. That's because the defense did a good job anticipating the snap count. With an aggressive defense like this, a hard count could be an effective way to keep him off balance while trying to draw him off sides. Drops back, under pressure. He's looking with the pass. The pass falls incomplete. He overthrows his intended receiver. There was no way he was going to get to that one. Houston looking for pass with only three down linemen and seven DBs on the field. Dice the motion man. Pressure coming, looking downfield, rolls right, gets the pass off. They couldn't get the ball past the first down marker. I don't know why the receiver would break off that route and make the catch short of the first down. Maybe he thought that he'd be able to do more with it after he caught it. Looks like he's changing the play. Using motion. Crosses it left. Here's an opening. Slips the tackle. Great move. He's doing a good job helping to provide a solid ground game for his team. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Eagle left. is great. Man in motion. Closing in with the pass across the field, and he's forced out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Get behind those big old linemen and let them do their work. So they have first and ten here. Ball on the 42-yard line. Set. Ain't got nothing. Bulldog under. Cowboy. Throwing on first down. Pressure. Looking for a receiver. Gets rid of it. He finds his man. Looking for leverage. The rush was on, but it's a nice game thanks to a nice throw. That's a heck of a pass. He's got those big old defensive linemen flying right at him, and he showed great composure making the right read and hitting his receiver. And this is the seventh play of this drive. Using motion. Under pressure, he's looking, looking for the deep pass down the right side. The pass was incomplete. Quarterback did a good job avoiding the pass rush, but couldn't find anybody open. Putting pressure on the quarterback can disrupt passing, but pressuring the receivers can do the same thing. If you can play physically on the outside, bump them off their routes, hold them up at the line, you can take away his receiving option, forcing him to just get rid of it. Touchdown, Titans. He stepped up, made a terrific throw, Went for the touchdown. That's just great communication between the quarterback and his receiver. You better kick it here. Hey. He'll get set for the extra point. Hey. The kick is up. The point after is good. Good looking drive, and they score the touchdown. The offensive unit should be very pleased with their performance on that one. Yeah, that was a nice job of keeping those chains moving and avoiding costly penalty. Now they've got to see if they can keep this momentum that they have established going for the remainder of this game. He decides not to return this one, so he downs the kick in the end zone.
There he goes. The 40. Across midfield. And they finally make the tackle at the 38. You should stop him with this play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Moon sets up. He'll go with a play fake. Flings it to the outside. Good looking play. Hey, I'd like to see him get the fullback involved in passing game. He's a pretty good option out of the backfield. He has quick feet, good hands, so passing to him sometimes is a pretty good idea. Only one man back. it off. Pick up of about a yard in the run. <laughs> this defense will stop him for sure. Second and nine. Tennessee comes out in their nickel package. He just got that one off. He went down very hard after getting that pass away. <laughs> he had to get rid of the ball in a hurry. With the pass, almost picked off. I thought that was about to be picked off, John. Yeah, the defender was in a perfect position to come over the big play. He just left his hands over on the sideline. They'll line up for the kick, and it should be about a 43-yard attempt. And it's on its way. The kick sails through. It's good. 12 points he's added to their total. His fourth field goal. The Oilers still have a big uphill battle here. The defense is still looking pretty fresh out there. Scoring on them is not going to be easy. I think downing the kick might have been the better option, John. You can't really fault the returner for trying to make a play for his team. He just needs to be a little more patient while making some better decisions when he decides to bring the ball out. Passing on first down. Gets the pass off. Won't have to break stride. And he's pushed out of bounds at the 23. Be aware of the defensive set. You've got to take what they're giving you. Set. Third. Moves in motion. He'll pass on first down. Throws it. With the adjustment, he has it. And he's stopped at the 37. Well, he's shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. The key here is to step up into the pocket. Make sure you get those feet set before you throw it. George, the lone setback. First and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Using motion. Get at him, Keith. He's on the run. Use it to go down. Here's the thing. We always say that in any long run, someone has to get a big block. And that's exactly what this is. I mean, this guy just gets run over. And he's completely knocked out of the play. I know. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Stay up. Going to the air on first down. Hits him in stride. McNair with a hot hand on this drive. And what he's doing is sitting back there in the pocket, seeing everything, making great decisions, and getting the ball to the right guy. He's playing very well right now. Set. Three, Directing 16. traffic. Bring the White check. The motion man. <laughs> Lost about a yard. Follow your blocking on this run, and you see the lane open, just accelerate right through it. Second and long. Set. Only one man back. Second and 11. Ball on the 35-yard line. Man in motion. Dropping back. Pressure coming. Looking for an option. Throws it. The 30. He's taken down at the 19. 
All right, you made it this far, and now pound the ball in the end zone. Set! First and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. Right. To the air on first down. Closing in. Gets rid of it. He has room. He's inside the ten. McNair has been perfect on this drive. Yeah, what happens? You get into a rhythm. The way this guy's throwing, he's going to stay in that rhythm until the defense knocks him out of it. Yeah. Looks like he's changing the play. The Titans using motion. Pressure, guns it out to the right. Good play there to knock it down at the line. That's because they did a good job of not giving a quarterback a lane to throw in. If you take those lanes away, it makes it very difficult to get the pass out to the receiver. Under pressure, guns it to the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. A great throw and catch, and it's his second touchdown reception of the game. The coach is telling them to go for the two. Dropping back, pressure coming, tosses it right. They fail on the conversion attack. Yeah, it's always a gamble with these two-point tries. The league's success rate is always low. Del Greco comes in to kick off. He takes a knee. That last drive stalled, and they settled for a field goal. Now let's see what happens. Aimed it off to the back. Only a yard by the halfback. Give this defense a shot. Gets rid of it. And he's forced out of bounds at the 19-yard line. He hit his man with the touch pass. And that's the kind of play they practice over and over again, where he just floats it out there where only his receiver can get it. Moon starts out of the shotgun. Tennessee backs its secondary off the line to be in better position to defend the deep pass. Drops back. Gets the pass off. Oh, he makes the catch anyway. The receiver with great hands and controlling that one. This quarterback has all the tools. A rocket arm, and he never makes a wrong read. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Titans ahead of the Oilers, 33-12. And we'll start the fourth quarter. Now, smart coach would call this defense. to the left. So they'll lose yardage on that tackle by Jackson. Just no room to run on that play. When defense comes out with that many guys up in the line of scrimmage, it's going to take a heck of a job from the offensive line to be able to open up any holes for the back. They come out of the nickel. Again, and he's brought down in the backfield by Curse. No chance to get it off as they close on a break. The defensive coordinator teaches his guys to be a very aggressive out there on defense. He has a lot of confidence in his cornerback. He's willing to leave them out there in single coverage on an island. So they'll blitz on just about any down, looking for a big play. Stepping up with the pass. So he's unable to get the first after making the play. That play won't help their third down conversion percentage today. I wonder what the receiver was thinking. Running a route that wasn't going to put him past the first down marker anyway. Tucks it away. Gets the pass off. Turns. He has it. Now watch how they get out of a jam. They're looking at a fourth and long situation here. And they call the perfect play at the perfect time. He makes one heck of a throw, and he gets it past the marker to keep him going. Everything had to work on that one, and everything did. It's the toss to the left. Here's Milton. Loses the defense. White got past the line and into the secondary on that count. He blasts through the line and picks up a good chunk of yardage. 
So we have first and ten here. Eagle left. the halfback. Yeah, that back is really tearing things up down there. You should stop him with this play. They'll go from the shotgun. Ball on the 25-yard line. Catch the ball, man. He's looking. Throws it over the middle. Nearly intercepted. John, it looked like that was going to be a turnover. Yeah, he had an excellent opportunity to end the drive right there. He just couldn't bring it in. Tennessee comes out in their nickel package. Fires it out to the right. Still running. Touchdown. Oilers. A nice pass. A nice catch. And it goes to the score. That was just a solid play. That guy was not going to be denied. Now Greco comes in for the extra point. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. And obviously they're happy with that drive, especially since they ended it with a touchdown. You see the way those guys walked off the field, kind of had their heads down? The offense is just dominating them out there. From the three. The passing game is really working for them. We saw that on their last possession as they worked their way down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can do it again here. George lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Looking for an option with the pass on the money. One yard gain on that play. Your halfback looks like a good option here. Set up some blocks and see if he can break it for a big game. Pressure, looking downfield, on the run. McNair showed his strong arm and lightning release on that throw. That's just a display of great hand shown by that receiver. The throw was a little off the mark, but he got his fingertips on it and brought it in for the catch. Set! Watch the spots! Get! Get! Using motion. Dropping back the pass on first down. Slings it to the outside. And he's pushed out of bounds at the 45-yard line. They convert for the first down on that throw. What a throw. He put everything he had into that one. Watch where there's movement up front. Look for the hole and send your man into the secondary. Calling it all the way. check. In motion. Good execution there, John. The blockers sold it, and the backs did the rest. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Man in motion. Passing on first down. Goes with a short pass to the right side. The defender goes down. Mayer doing an excellent job in this drive. Things are really slowing down for him right now. He's seeing the coverage and finding the open man with ease. He's really in some kind of rhythm out there. George, the lone back. Using motion. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Don't we'll let those guys intimidate you. Get out there and run it down their throat. It's second down at eight to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Get him low, sir. Second and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. Bulldog under. We'll see. McNair sends a man in motion. They give it to the halfback. He's taken down at the 20-yard line. Running back picks up about seven yards. The backs are lined up in an eye. Is 
it. Man in motion. Under pressure, throwing. And the catch is made. Runs over the tackle. They have the defense off balance. Another first down. You know, this defense has tried everything. Man coverage, splits, zones. They really mixed up their defenses and their coverages. This offense has taken advantage of them all. This team has been putting up good numbers inside the 20 here today. Yellow, 74. Fire out. Get up, left. Using motion. Back off, TP. They'll go with the run once again. Picks up five. All right, you made it this far. Now pound the ball into the end zone. Second and five. Ball on the eight yard line. Ain't got nothing. Calling an audible. Blue, 16. Let's go. Ball. Man in motion. On the call. Missed tackle. Turtles. Touchdown, Titans. Look at him here. He wasn't going to be stopped on that one. He's a hard run. He just shrugs off the defender, and he gets in for a touchdown. Del Greco comes in to attempt the point after. The extra point attempt is good. And that drive was very impressive. Over 70 yards and a lot of time was used. Kept by the touchdown. And that was a result of great play calling. They were able to get good chunks of yardage, and that moved the chain. And eventually, it got him in the end zone. Booming kick downfield. He got all of it. The Oilers will start the drive from the 20-yard line. The Titans come out in a nickel package. Gets rid of it. And this pass is completed. Perfect pass. Great catch. And that'll move the chain. First and ten. Ball on their own 34. From the gun. Going to the air on first down. The 40. The 30. He's finally brought down at the 23. Big time play by number 84. And that's the type of thing that can happen when you get this guy the ball. He's going to move the ball, and he's going to move it with speed. It's first and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. Out of the shotgun. Get in there, huh? With the pass, almost done. They're lucky that one wasn't picked off. Yeah, he started thinking about how he was going to take it back the other way and make a big play for the defense. He just forgot to bring the ball with him. Here comes the heat. Gets the pass off. This pass is incomplete. Almost, but no catch. He did a nice job of getting in position and giving the quarterback a good target. He just couldn't get it under control. The Titans come out in the quarter defense. Set. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Side by the side. <laughs> and he stopped at the 14. Dropping back, throws it, he finds his man. They'll head right back to the line. Is that all you got? Give it all you got, T. Come on. And this is the seventh play of this run. Throws to the end zone. Touchdown, Oilers. And a great throw for the touchdown. Yeah, he threw that where only the receiver could get it. They'll get set for the extra point. The kick is up, and he picks on the extra point. The Oilers have just made it a two-score game. This team could put up some points, but this might be a little too deep a hole. Onside kick. And they don't recover it. They just need to eat up clock now, because they have this game pretty well in hand. This one is just about in the books. Time to give it to your halfback. Tell him to look for a hole to open up inside. 
That's it. They'll take, They'll take over. Going to the air on first down. Gets rid of it, and he makes the grab. Nice call going to the air, and that'll move the chains. Get this one to your halfback, and let him drive it in the middle. Melt this drive for all it's worth. Hand it off. Number 91 gets right in there and brings him down. Run it up the gut and keep that clock moving. George, the deep back. McNair sees something in the defense. Hand off to the tailback. A yard, maybe two on the count. All you need to do here is run some clock. Run the football up the middle. And they'll face a long third down here. Ball on the 27-yard line. Set. Come on, Bobby. We'll see. Get in there. Again with the run. Houston calls a timeout. That's their third and final timeout. Here's today's worst trailer player of the game. So they're lining up for the kick. This will be a 42-yard attempt. And it's on its way. He's really clicking out there. Three field goals for him. Del Greco in to kick this one off. He got all of that one. He downs it in the end zone. The offense with a lot of success through the air on the last drive as they move downfield for the touchdown. Any run plays in the playbook should be thrown out because they need points fast, and the only way they're going to get them is by throwing the ball. Passing on first down, and it's caught. Moon zips the ball into the receiver on that one. The quarterback quickly read the defense and fired the ball into the receiver for a first down. Spike stops the clock. Out of the shotgun. Ball on the 34-yard line. Number 89. The man in motion. Get out of deep. Looking for an option. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. Drops the intercept. He easily could have taken that one all the way back. He's back in his zone. He's reading. He sees the quarterback the whole way. And then he gets a chance at an interception. He just didn't finish the play. Dropping back. Steps up. Great play in the backfield by Curse. They'll go with a hurry up offense. The corners playing off a bit. Let's go, come on. Tennessee will call a timeout here. That's their second. Montgomery is back to punt. Here's the punt. From the 31-yard line. There's the final gun. The final score is Tennessee 43, Houston 26. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.